Grand rising, beautiful souls. I'm Radiant Goddess Susie, and welcome to the Beyond Abuse podcast, a show about the power and benefits of using self-love and hope to overcome self-doubt, depression, anxiety, and panic attacks resulting from the trauma and abuse of our past. So today is day 17, and I'm actually going to do it the other way around this time. I want to give you guys the, the um, centering thoughts. And then we also have a little motto today, and then um, the task and some questions. We have some questions again today. So um, today's centering thought is I lead with my feel. No, that's the motto. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> um, the motto for today, say this all day today, I lead with my feelings and choose to feel whole, healthy, abundant, and blessed. Um, I'm going to say I lead with my feelings and I choose to feel whole, healthy, abundant, and blissful. Because again, I'm not trying to use the word blessed because it's be less. And I really do want to be mindful of my word. So the uh, centering thought for today is I move through my days lighthearted and carefree, knowing all is well. And um, I love that. And I'm so glad that I got that today because I've been, I've been going back and forth about some things that are going on in my life. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not running anymore. I'm not running from anybody because I know my power today. And I'm standing in that power because I know the universe has my back in every situation. You know, no, I'm, I'm at a space in my life where... You know, I'm active in my community. You know, we're serving other people. Like I'm living my dream right now. And I'll be damned if I'm going to let fear or anxiety cause me stress. No, I'm not doing that. So that just came right on time. And so the, the task for today, this goes out to you as well. Um, and remember, y'all can leave this stuff in the comments if you want to. If you want to send me a message on the podcast, I would love to hear what you guys are doing or, you know, how you guys are getting along with this 21-day meditation experience. So create a list of all the important things you have, material, spiritual, and emotional. There are no high or low limits in the things you, um, you can write down. Um, so recognize everything you have. So recognize everything you have that matters to you. Okay. So it don't matter. It could be your cell phone. It could be your car. You know, I kind of do this every single morning when I wake up, you know, just being in a space of gratitude for everything that I currently have in my life, knowing that, you know, when I, when I'm feeling abundant, abundance finds me, you know, I attract abundance into my life. I attract everything that's that's for my highest good into my life. So, and the questions for today. So there's three. The first one is, how do you feel when you wake up every morning? Number two, how much would your life improve if you lived with a light and carefree heart? Mm. Number three, how can you switch your mind to spread the love and joy that you feel in your heart right now. Okay. So my goodness. And I'm going to tell y'all gratitude will give you a light and carefree heart, you know, and I've just really been living my life in this space for like, probably really in that space, probably for the past two years, I would say. Because the first year when I got back down to Greensboro, I still was in a stressful place. I still was looking over my shoulder, you know, still worried and stuff like that. And it really wasn't until like 2019 that I was just like carefree. You know, like when I met the man in 2019, I was, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, I didn't care what, you know, what he thought about me or anything like that. I was just me, you know, and he knew I wasn't going, I'm not changing who I am. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care 
what you say about me, how you feel about me, I'm not changing who I am anymore for anybody because I'm finally in a space where I love myself and your opinions of me don't matter. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and and it, it was like, it's like, you know, he's like, people will be like, I'm not enough for you. No, I'm not, you're not enough because I'm not participating in your drama. I'm not participating in your chaos. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's what he tried to do. He tried to pull me out of my peace and you can't do that anymore. Before I allow anybody to pull me out of my peace, you're going to exit my existence. Simple as that. You know what I'm saying? Because the girl that he, the other girl that he was messing with, she allowed him to pull her out of his, out of her peace. I didn't do it. I'm not participating in that. And, and now that I think about it, because, you know, um, the universe will present us with tests, right? So when you don't allow people to pull you out of your peace, they don't, they don't really want to mess with you, right? Because they need that. They're fueled by chaos and drama, right? So they, you know, of, of course they'll try all that they can, but when you don't allow them to pull you out of your peace, they'll, of course they'll go find new supply, but then they, sometimes they, they tend to try to come back and it's like, you still can't pull me out of my peace. Okay. So you can either come, come into this piece with me, or you can stay over there with the drama and chaos because I'm not dealing with it. Okay. So, you know, when you're living a light and carefree heart, no matter what's going on in your external world, it's like, it's like, okay, you know, and, and I'm doing this 21 day uh, meditate, abundance meditation experience is really helping me a lot. You know, like I'm sure if y'all go back in the previous uh, episodes at the beginning, you know, I was like still having issues and struggling with my finances. And now it's like, all right, well, universe, you know exactly what I need. I'm not about to sit up here and struggle. I'm not about to sit up here and strife. I'm not about to sit up here and be stressed out, um, you know, that's kind of how it is right now. It's like, it is what it is. You know, I don't have to continuously tell the universe every single day what it is that I need, you know, and, you know, the universe just comes through. So it's just like, when you live in that space, like, yeah, you got all the stressors outside of you, right? But when you got that peace inside of you, it's just like, all right, universe. All right, you know? And, and that's really how I talk to the universe. Like, um, okay, universe, all right. Cause I'm not about to stress over it. You know, I really do want to live my life abundantly, you know, in joy and bliss and happiness, you know? And, and it can happen, it absolutely can happen. And even when, you know, even like today, I was just like, I'm not about, I'm not about to sit up here and, you know, stress myself out about how other people feel about me, you know, because, because I'm doing what I've been called to do. That's, it's not my problem that people gave up on their dreams. It's not my problem that people were too afraid to be themselves because of what other people would say about them. That's not my problem. You know, it's not my problem that you're upset that I'm actually doing what my soul came here to do. If you have a problem with that, then take it up with the universe. As simple as that. That's not my problem. So um, let's go ahead and get started on day 17. Let's get this message. And um, of course, we'll unpack it a little and then I'll do cards and then I'll pray you guys out. So enjoy. Welcome to day 17. There are some who live day to day concerned about not having enough of whatever they feel is necessary for their happiness and security. Their bodies most likely echo those feelings by sending messages of discomfort in the form of anxiety, worry, or stress. This, however, doesn't have to be. Instead, we learn to trust the intelligence of the universe 
and practice living carefree, we can live fearlessly without worry and focus on lack. We can expect only the best and live our lives from a place of true joy. When the mind nourishes the body with carefree thoughts and feelings, the body returns to its natural state of happiness and calm. And from this place of bliss, you're able to regain the memory of who and what you really are. A spiritual being, inextricably interconnected with the creative power of the universe. Reconnecting with your true nature, you cross the invisible boundary between the ego and true self. You begin to feel more lighthearted, finding humor in everyday circumstances and laughing more, mm -hmm. even at yourself, because you no longer take yourself so seriously. You handle the unexpected with calm and ease, and your life becomes free from melodrama. What if you learned to detach from worry about the future and instead trusted that there is always enough of anything you need or desire? How would you change? Would you feel happier and more carefree? Notice that all these qualities are available to you right in this moment if you choose them. And in this relaxed and blissful state, there is nothing you lack. All your needs are met, with no exception. Practice living each moment as it comes with a light and open heart. And pay attention to how those carefree moments carry with them greater abundance and boundless joy. To help you do this, take some time to reflect on good times. Look at old photos, play a favorite song, pet your cat, take a leisurely walk, or spend time with someone who warms your heart. Experience the joy of all that you love including yourself. As a spiritual being, you fear nothing because you know there is nothing to fear and all that truly exists in the world is love. As we begin our meditation, take a moment to place your attention in your heart and focus on today's centering thought. I move through my days, lighthearted and carefree, knowing all is well. I move through my days, lighthearted and carefree, knowing all is well. Oh my goodness, that has got me in tears because I can remember when I was in discomfort, when I was in anxiety, when I was in, you know, depression for most of my days, when I had severe panic attacks. And yes, you know, like I told y'all, what was it, the maybe like two, three days ago or something like that. And it was like for a little portion of my day, it was like at night, you know, when some emotions came up and um, I started to cry, but it was like, I, it was like right before I went to bed. So, you know, I just laid my butt down, you know what I'm saying? So like when I was in that place of discomfort, it was because I was unhappy about my life and how I thought it should be right and so now it's like it doesn't matter right it don't matter like 
what my life looks like. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I like, I think what I'm going through right now is like kind of like a test from the universe, you know, because it's like I, I said to the universe, I would give all this shit up again. Like none of this stuff matters. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I will. I'll give it up again if I have to, you know, because this stuff does not matter. I'll sell all this stuff and, and go live. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that stuff does not matter to me. You know, as long as I got the equipment that I need to do my my um my podcast and my videos and inspire people can t- to continue to inspire people and serve people, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Because none of this stuff matters. Like I've been, I've been at rock bottom, you know what I'm saying? And I just feel like what's happening now is just like a test to, to elevate, you know, because we get, we get these tests in our lives and it's up to us, whether we're going to allow the stress of the situation take us out of our place of bliss and happiness and carefreeness, or if we're just going to continue to live in the present moment, it is what it is. It is what it is. I can't change it. You know what I'm saying? Like right now my hands are tied universe, you know? So, um, yeah, I'm just going to continue to have fun, laugh, dance (laughs) and be me. You know what I'm saying? Make these videos in the car and I'm going to continue to be me. And that's really ha- how you have to get in life. You have to get to the, the carefree state, you know, and not fearing, you know, not fearing. Um, and, and that's exactly how I was in, in that last relationship. Like, all right, you know, once I found out that he was with another girl, all right, I'm going to go about my business, you know, because it is what it is. You know, you can't force people to love you. You can't force people to like you. You can't force people to support you. You know, um, the universe will send people into your life who genuinely love and enjoy and support you, you know? So, I don't know, you know, just try to live a carefree life. You wanna know how to get out of depression? You want to know how to get out of those places of anxiety, having multiple panic attacks? Stop worrying about your future. Stop stop worrying about a destination and just live your life. You know, like when I do those lives on TikTok, I have so many people saying, oh, I feel so lost. Like, where are you going, baby? Where are you going? Where you got to go? Where are you trying to go? think one person said heaven heaven is a state of mind you know and 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 being in this being in this community and that's what that's what the um the moderator said you know paradise is a place i mean paradise is not a place it's a state of mind heaven is not a place it's a state of mind just like hell is and there are a lot of people that are living in the state of hell a lot of people because of fear, because they have allowed, because fear is running rapid right now, right? Fear is the prevailing energy with COVID and they did that for a reason. They want you to live in fear. And this is why it's so important to get out of that space of fear. So let's go ahead and get a activate your chakra card first. Okay, that one came right up. I needed that one today. Where does my intuition guide me today? Where you guiding me to? Where are you guiding us to, intuition? Where are we being guided to? And I've been struggling with that today. Like, I mean, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll look for other alternatives, but, and, you know, I've said this before, that's how I'm living my life. Okay. If that's what we're supposed to do, then, then, then I'm willing to do that. 
But, but why? Because I don't want it to, to come from a place of fear and anxiety about what other people are plotting and planning. I don't ever want to live my, my life like that again. Ever again in my life. My cards, I'm gonna need a new deck. This deck is, I, I have beat it up. <laughs> that one just popped right out. <laughs> I love that card too because it's so beautiful. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wishing guidance today. Law of attraction. And chase. And everything that I need. Everything that I need will find me. And that's the. You know, yesterday we had that. Gratitude is a super attractor. It's an attractive power. And that's what this card is, law of attraction. It's like this person is a super attractor. Like everything is coming to her. You don't ever have to chase after anything. You don't have to run after anything. You don't have to run from things. You are, a, the law of attraction is yours when you are living in a set, statue of gratitude and grace and listening to your intuition. Okay, so this is good. Yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, spirit. So the, the chakra card is ask, where does my intuition guide me today? And the law of attraction is about your thoughts, right? And what it is that you desire to manifest in your life, right? And so what I've been saying is, I want everything that's for my highest good. I don't want anything in my life that's not for my highest good. Let me turn this down. Um, but I want everything that's for my highest good, right? And so what it's saying is that, our thoughts are really our investments, right? They are our investments. So if you're thinking constantly negative, depressive, anxious thoughts, that's what you're investing into your soul, right? So you have to invest wisely. You got to invest your thoughts wisely, right? And this is why gratitude is so important for you to invest your thoughts, because then you're not focused on what you don't have in your life. You're only focused on what you already have in your life and the abundance that you have in your life. And when you focus on what you already, the abundance that you already have in your life, you attract more of that abundance into your life, right? So, and you have the power to choose your thoughts. You don't have to think those negative thoughts. You don't have to think those depressive thoughts. You don't have to think those anxious thoughts. You can change, you can change your mind. You have the power to do that, but it takes work. It takes practice. And I'm telling you, it's gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. That changes your thoughts. Because when you get yourself in a place of, I don't have enough, right? Like I, like I was telling y'all, my finances. I'm worried about next month's rent, right? And the universe is saying, but rent is paid today. So get in that space. And when, when those thoughts come about, oh, I don't have my rent money for next month. You say, but my bills are paid, but the rent and the bills, everything is paid this month, right? My roof, the roof over my head is covered for this month. And that's how you continuously get yourself out of those negative thoughts. Is it perfect? No. I still have my days. I had that day today where I had anxious thoughts and I'm doing this stuff and I'm like, I'm told the universe after I'm building, I'm like, why do I, why do I need to give in to these people? Why? Why? I am living my dreams and because they're angry, they're doing whatever they're doing on their end, trying to come against me. I'm not, I'm not running anymore because people want me to run. They want me to do that. And I'm not doing it anymore because I love my life right now. 
And I'm not giving that up. I'm not giving that up anymore. You know what I'm saying? So, and then the angel Azor said, your desired outcome will occur in the very near future. Have patience and faith and don't try to force it to happen. So again, the law of attraction does not force. You don't force anything to happen. You keep doing what it is that you're supposed to do. You keep working. You keep taking action like the universe is, is speaking to you, like your intuition is telling you, and you have patience and you wait for it. You wait for the desires of your heart to manifest as you are changing those negative thought patterns, because you can't have that negative, you can't have those negative thoughts. You can't be living in a space of fear. You can't. Fear and love cannot abide together. And that's why it's so important to get yourself in that space of gratitude so that you can learn to talk down those thoughts, you know? And I don't know if that was so much gratitude today, but I'm just like, well, maybe it was, because it's like, no changing around my life for anybody anymore I'm not doing it anymore because I am in a state of, of of bliss and happiness and carefree living and and this this shit feels good now you know what I'm saying like I'm and it has nothing to do with my external circumstances right because like I told the universe if I got to give up all this shit again I will I will because I know how to live in a state of gratitude, happiness, and bliss, and love without anything. And I think so many people, including myself, I was there before. You are depressed because you are living a life. You are so focused on, and I know that I was focused on everybody else's definition of the American dream instead of living my own American dream. Okay? Because Somebody else's, and just like success, I've said this before, your definition of success is not my definition. And people will look at me and say, oh, she's so successful. They'll see all these followers and think, oh, she's so successful. That stuff has no bearing on my success because even without those followers, I still was happy in my own skin. Even without things in my apartment, I still was happy. So people will look at my outward success, but that has no bearing because if all this shit goes away tomorrow, I still get my inner success. I still got abundance on the inside of me. And that's what I have always been trying to cultivate. It wasn't about having anything outside of myself because like I've said before, I am the girl who will live in a camper in the middle of nowhere and grow her own food. <laughs> So the external circumstances really shouldn't be a factor in your happiness. And I think that that's why so many people are unhappy. They're miserable because they're trying to live up to somebody else's standard. They're in relationships that their parents wanted for them. They're in jobs that their parents said was good for them. They're living in houses, stressed the fuck out because they're because everybody else has it. And everybody else has it, but everybody else is miserable too. So you got to decide for yourself, what does happiness look like for you? What does success look like for you? And then you go and attain that. Then you go after that. But here's the thing, you don't have to chase anything. You attract everything. So this is my, this, I got three things that I live by. And Deepak may have said it in one of these other um, days. But I got three things that I live by, right? You have the vision, right? You have the dream. It's there, it's yours. The universe will guide you into, intuitively to act. So first is the dream, the vision. The second is your action, right? Because there are some times the universe will say, okay, you got that vision. Now this is what I need for you to do. And then the third thing, as that card said, is rest, be patient. 
because you already put it out into the universe. You already had that dream. The universe gave it to you. Then what did you do? You took action like the universe said. Now rest. And this is a repetitive cycle. And this is how I live my life. This is why I don't give my energy to bullshit because that's my currency. And, and I need to be creative so that I can hear, so that I can see the visions, so that I can hear intuitively so that I can act. And then I take my day of rest. You know, so, so many people wanna fight depression. I say make depression your best friend. Make it your absolute best friend because depression actually is, is telling us to rest. But a lot of us are, are, are so hell bent on achieving those goals and thinking that we got to chase them. And, but you don't have to. You need to rest. You need to enjoy your life. So you're going to have all this stuff and then you're going to drop dead, right? Because you haven't enjoyed your life. Because you've just been working, 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 trying to achieve this goal and stressing yourself out. And by the time it gets here, you're going to drop dead because you haven't even enjoyed the present moment of today. You've been so focused on the future, so focused on the dreams and stuff like that. I seen something on TikTok today. I, this is the last thing I'll say, and then I'll. Um, I'll go over my stuff and I'll pray us out. But he said that, you know, the best way to succeed is to get yourself a daily routine. And I actually learned that from my um, coach, Evan Carmichael, right? Get you a daily routine. And even if, even if you only achieve 70% of that, at least you did it, right? So I have my little morning routine. I have my little morning routine. It's a daily routine, but then, you know, this is my, this goes from morning until I go to bed, right? And then I have my weekly routine, of the things that I do every single day. Do it always look like that? I guess, kind of, sort of. But there is one thing that I make sure I do, and that is my morning prayer, my morning meditation, and my daily intention and affirmations. Oh, I, I do a lot of them, actually. Okay, today I didn't prepare breakfast until like 11.45. And um, I'm working on my podcast a little bit late. You know, but for the most part, I follow my daily routine. And you know what is on my daily routine? Two hours of relaxation. Whether that's going kayaking, or laying by the pool, or just sitting in my bed reading, or writing, but I'm relaxing, because that's me time. You got to learn how to enjoy life. So let me get out of here, because I got to go get my child from school. So um, I hope y'all enjoyed the podcast today. Um, I thank y'all for joining me. I, I enjoy doing this. This is something that I absolutely love to do. And like I tell people, you know, cause people will think like I had my stepfather ask me, do you get paid off of that? Yeah, probably in three years I will, you know, but I'm doing the work now. You know, I, I've written books that I haven't, uh, I've, I've made two sales so far, but here's the thing I'm working. I'm doing the work. I'm still writing. I haven't stopped writing. I still got, I got another, a couple more books that I'm creating. I'm writing for Brains Magazine. And no, I haven't seen any, any money from it. I do it because I love it. And I think that that's, when people do things simply from the, the place of money, they live a miserable life. They live an unhappy life because they're not truly doing what makes their heart beat, what brings them passion, what brings them joy, what nurtures their creativity. They're doing it for money. And yes, money is a great resource. It absolutely is. But money will never buy you happiness. 
Money will never buy you bliss. Money will never buy you joy. You got to have that without all the stuff. You got to cultivate that first. If there's nothing that you learn from this podcast, take that. Strip yourself down to the bare fucking minimum and see what truly makes you happy. See what truly makes you happy and then do that. Do exactly that. So thank y'all for supporting this podcast um, by becoming a subscriber, by being a listener supporter. Um, I thank y'all for your love, kindness, generosity, and the monthly support, you know. Um, it is greatly appreciated and much accepted. Um, and it's through the support of listeners like you that help to sustain future episodes of this podcast. Not only that, but it helps to assist the mission of A Mother's Touch Inc. because that really is my baby. That's really what I do all of this for. That is really what I want the finances for because I want to make A Mother's Touch Inc. a legit nonprofit. You know, I want to be, I, I want to be an organization that assists, you know, co-parents and families with achieving the proper love, guidance, and nurturing that they didn't get as a child so that they can feel not only themselves, but their children. So they're not continuously passing down generational abuse and generational hurt. That's, that's, that's the ultimate goal. I want, I want more people to become a healthier, happier, more holistic version of themselves, the truest version of themselves, but you can only do that when you stop living in a place of unhappiness. And it, I think there's a quote that says like, Unhappiness comes from you thinking your life was supposed to be a different, another way or look different. When you can appreciate, appreciate your life for everything that it is right now, that's when you live in a state of gratitude and happiness. When you're not worried about what your life is supposed to look like. Um, you know, and I also want to be able to assist men and women who are leaving domestic violence situations and they have no place to turn to. You know, I would really love to have a building where people who are, you know, so they don't have to sleep in their car. So they don't have to go and live in a hotel, although I don't see anything wrong with living in a hotel shit, just one bill, you know. But, you know, a lot of the times people leave in domestic violence, they have to leave, they have to leave everything behind except for their clothes. And a lot of people who are leaving domestic violence relationships don't have much of anything. They don't have a savings. They're not able to go and just get another place. And I just really want to be that, that foundation. And I want to be able to offer classes. You know, I want to, I would really like to be able to offer classes to other people to help them get out of that situation, you know? And that's why I do the community. It's not classes, you know, I do daily daily encouragement. You know, I, I fell off this week. I ain't even gonna lie. This is the week that I'm supposed to start my lives. Um, but I do daily encouragement, weekly challenges, and I'm doing the weekly live, you know? And everything is based off of what I learned on my journey because I know that I had to go through what I went through so that I could bring this platform and this community to other people to help them as well on their journey. Because I desire to be who I needed when I found myself struggling in every area of my life after leaving my unhealthy and abusive relationship. Um, if you are new to the podcast, thank you. Thank you, I appreciate you being here. Um, I love the newbies. I really and truly do because whether you're a subscriber or not, you, you chose to, to listen to the podcast. So I really appreciate you guys. And um, if you enjoy what you heard, then I invite you to become a subscriber. You can uh, subscribe. If you're watching on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. And if you're listening on Anchor, Apple, Breaker, Google Podcasts, Pocket Cast, Radio Public, Spotify, 
or what is it? Anchor, Apple, Breaker, Google Podcasts, Pocket Cast, Radio Public, and Spotify. And go ahead and hit the subscriber button. Um, and if you are getting anything out of these messages, go ahead and become a listener supporter. You know, as I said before, monthly support is greatly appreciated and accepted, and it goes towards the mission of a Mother's uh, Touch Inc. Also, um, if you if you don't want to become a monthly supporter, right? You're like, no, I would prefer to just donate whenever I have, whenever I have, I would just prefer to send a love offering whenever I have a little bit to, to send. I appreciate that as well. You can go to www.amotherstouchinc.org and um, donate there, or you can donate via Cash App, which is the dollar sign, a Mother's Touch Inc., or Venmo, which is the at symbol, a Mother's Touch Inc. Um, and if you enjoy the podcast in general, then I invite you to sign up for the monthly uh, self-care newsletter, um, which I did not send out today. I'm going to have to do that when I come home. Uh, as a subscriber, you get to enjoy 25% off the five poetry book bundle, 15% off all products. You get the free ebook from victim to victor, and you get the free access to the living and empowered life mental health support community. Um, if you are interested in becoming a Patreon monthly supporter, you will receive all these benefits and so much more, including exclusive live intuitive guidance reading. Um, so if you are someone you know is in need of financial assistance, please visit www.amotherstouchinc.org and fill out the form for financial assistance. That's all I got for y'all today. I love y'all and I thank y'all for joining me. But you know, before I let you go, I have to send y'all out with a prayer of love. It's gonna be a short one because I gotta go get my baby from school. So let's go ahead and do that. Dear universe, I love you. And you know, I never wanna cut you short, but I don't wanna be late picking up my baby. So, you know, she enjoys me being there to pick her up every day from school as much as I enjoy it. So, you know, I love you. I tell you that every morning, but I want you to cover, I'm asking you to cover each and every listener that stopped by today to listen to the podcast, cover them with your love, your light, and the healing energy of the angels. Let them know that they are so loved, that they are cared for, that Everything that's going on in the world today is meant to bring confusion and chaos. And when, when they stand in the present moment, knowing that they are abundant and, and free, that they have nothing to fear because the power resides in them, then they can live a carefree life. They can live a blissful and happy life. I love you and I thank you for this platform. It is a privilege and an honor to serve. I do not take this lightly. I love it every, every part of it. And I'm thankful and grateful for the resources that I get to provide to other people. So, um, and I'm thankful and grateful to see another day. And with that being said, let's rock this day out. Let's get her done and so be it and so it is. Amen, amen, and amen. I want y'all to go out. Have an awesome, amazing, and beautiful day today. From my heart to yours, as always, namaste. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to watch the next video.